Towers Falling, Chapter 24 and 25 Subway Home The subway train is nearly empty. Middle of the day. I think nobody wants to go to Brooklyn. I do. And I don't. Sixteen voice messages. Twenty-two texts. My mom's mad. Ben shuts off his cell phone again. Do you think Sabine told? Probably. But she would have tried not to. Miss Garcia might have told the principal. It wasn't smart skipping school together. If it had just been me, she would have just figured I was sick. Ben's shoulders sag. Still, I'm glad, Ben. I'm glad you were here with me. I know. Both of us slump in our seats. You can hear the engine pulling, the wheels rattling on the tracks. I pull the brochure out of my hoodie. Ben reads with me. Terrorists crash two planes into the Twin Towers. 2,753 people from over 90 nations were killed. Mainly Americans, I think. But just people. Humans. Oldest victim, 85 years old. The youngest, two. 403 were first responders. Who were first responders, Ben? Firefighters, New York and Port Authority police. Closing my eyes, I lean my head back. Ben does the same. Three more stops, he says. Then trouble. Not as bad as it could be. I think of the man who lost his daughter. How he remembered her whole life in his heart. I think of Pop. Memories. That's the difference. The footprints were horrible beautiful. What if Pop only remembers horrible? Chapter 25 Pop The subway train stops. Doors whisk open. Underground, it's another world. Shadowy. Warmer than topside. Part of me wants to stay here. Ben and me shuffle forward and climb the steps. The sky gets bigger and bigger, the air colder. I see Dora and Pop standing side by side. Other than Ma, I've never seen Pop stand so close to someone. Dora runs forward. How could you, Ben? How could you? Not her knees, she hugs him tight. Are you all right? You're not hurt. Mom, the subway's safe. Ben's relieved. Dora's more worried than angry. Pop looks mad, all rigid and stark. At least he didn't call Ma. It would have been worse if she'd have missed work. I walk up to Pop. I wanted to explain how I'm sorry, how I needed to go to the memorial, and how I'd do it again if it meant I'd understand him better. I say nothing. Don't smile. Just look at Pop eye to eye. He lifts me off the ground, and I'm being held, crushed by the biggest hug. I feel warm. Pop's cheek is soft on mine, and he whispers, Deja, Deja. I feel good. Feet off the ground. I feel like I can fly. Pop sets me down. He nods at Dora. Ben waves, and they both turn down the street. Thank you, Pop shouts. Thank you? I've never heard Pop say thank you, or much of anything to somebody other than family. Pop changed, and as if to prove it, he smiles. We'll talk when we get home. <laughs>